Today we're going to look at the RideSync system from Interphone. So basically in a nutshell what this is, um, I do a lot of off-roading so um, I want to be able to see what's on my phone screen but without having my phone attached to the bike. So this is basically a 5.5 inch screen um, and it mirrors everything that's on the phone so I can have my maps and stuff on there. Um, fits on with a quick lock system so it's a nice quick release should you need to release it from the bike. Um, also it's got a USB-C in so if you've got USB on your bike you can actually power it direct from that although I've hardwired mine to the battery. It's IP66 rated so it will take most of what the weather can throw at it. Um, I wouldn't recommend throwing it in a lake but it does pretty good in the uh, in the rain and the adverse conditions. So the first thing I'm going to do is walk you through how to pair it to your phone. So just hop onto the Android Auto button and that tells you what the device is called on your phone so you can look to pair. And there we go we can see it's just on there. So just pair that. Agree. Okay good, so now that's all paired, I don't need this anymore because the whole point of this is that I can look at the screen. So I just open up my maps. So if I'm out on a ride, I want to be able to see where I'm going. I've got my music there so I can play with the music, change songs, whatever I want to. If I need to enlarge that screen, I can. So again, I've got a really good view of where I'm going, where I should be because in off-roading, I don't want to be stopping every five minutes getting the phone out. It's all there just to see, nice and easy. Also, you've got all your apps on here, so any app that's installed on your phone, provided it's supported, it'll be viewable on here. So I've got my calendar and all sorts of things on there that you probably wouldn't need to use, but all your messenger and everything else. Um, you can make your phone calls, you can change settings on the fly if you need to, the weather even, um, and WhatsApp. Messages do come through to the phone screen as well, so sometimes you'll be out riding and the message will pop up. Um, not recommended that you're texting on the, uh, on the ride, but you can see the first part of the sentence, so you need to know if it's important enough to stop for. So the obvious question would be why don't I just put my phone onto the bike like a lot of other riders do and that's fine and I could do that but obviously there's always the worry about your phone becoming damaged the vibrations such like obviously this bike's quite vibey um, it could destroy the camera so um, I don't want to do that and the other thing as well if you should happen to park company with your bike at any point you know your phone's safety is stored away in your pocket or your bag or wherever it is because this is basically mirroring your phone so it's all there for you doing everything your phone does but it's a safe away because you don't want a thousand pounds worth of phone strapped to there so if this does become damaged or, or dropped in a lake or whatever happens it's almost sacrificial at that point so the beauty of the mounting system this uses is it's quick locks so with quick locks you can pretty much mount it wherever you like um, actually in this instance because of where this center pad is I've had to reverse the arm on there but again that's the beauty that you can do these things so you can mount it however works for you and the situation you're riding in where you need it to be mounted for the best view. So that's an overview of the whole system, how it works. If you've got any other questions, please drop them in the uh, comments below. And uh, most importantly, like, subscribe, and ride safe.